Okay, now can we then talk about the fundamentals? I know you mentioned, um, you know, of course, things to do with age, weight, mm -hmm. and all those things. Can we just go through them very quickly, one by one? And then we'll talk about the unhealthy part so that we know <laughs> the things that we've been doing wrong um, for a very long time. Yeah, so let's exactly. start with age. And for age, I can say, can we start with the children? Because right now we see a lot of overweight children. We see a lot of obese um, children. And you talk to most of these families, they will tell you, so <laughs> we're okay, all right? So can you start with the children and then of course transition into, yeah. into adulthood? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. First of all, let me just start with genetics. Right. What are the role of genetics, of genetics in basically yes. weight? Mm -hmm. What we usually say is that by the end of the day, you're what you eat. Yeah. But also we don't denote the genetics, mm. but it only contributes to 20%. Of okay. your weight, right. of, of the weight that you're supposed, that you're supposed to be. To be. Okay. So let's say, if you, if for example, by your height and weight, you're supposed to be 60%, mm -hmm. then of course, you have to add maybe 120%. That's mm -hmm. the role of genetics. Right. But you see, most of the people go as far as saying obesity runs mm -hmm. in, the in the family. So you have to be obese. Mm -hmm. I've met people actually who are thin in the family and yeah. they're in the family of obesity. Mm -hmm. But I think it's that laxity. Mm. whereby you know ah we are big yeah, so it naturally so comes because it's, it's okay. yeah. even your parents who are big also mm. it is a, a reflective of mm. actually what they ate yeah. in their early years mm -hmm. so what we usually say is that do not necessarily talk about genetics genetic. because also mm -hmm. the mind is a very powerful it thing is. if you tell yourself you can't do it mm. you can't do it yeah. so and but of course if you tell yourself you can do it mm -hmm. you can do it yeah. but now we start with that mm -hmm. fundamentals very important mm -hmm. you have to take a balanced diet yes. don't just do rice and beans. Yeah. Okay. I actually learned that beans <laughs> is, I was shocked. Because you see, this is something that we, yes. we've grown up knowing that you can have your rice and beans and, and a little bit of veggies and you're yes. good to go. Yes. Kumba, we've been eating carbs all along. Yes. It's a combination of actually carbs and proteins. Wow. And that's okay. why you find that people, in as much as they go to high school, that's mm -hmm. the staple meal in high school, yep. rice and beans. Mm -hmm. But of course, you see, at that age, again, there are yeah. hormones. Yeah. And that is something also you need to consider. Mm -hmm. Because again, fat deposition, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So you have to consider, am I actually depositing more fat, fat or, yeah. or something like that? But because, mm -hmm. you see, in terms of Mm. You can tell an adolescent, do not eat. But actually, yeah. they require more they than more, you yes. because they burn fat. Mm. And that is where the role of basically basal metabolic rate comes mm -hmm. in. There are mm -hmm. people actually who eat a lot mm -hmm. and they're still thin. Yep. There are people who the word eat. that's all the way go to. Exactly. Yeah. There okay. are people who eat little, but mm -hmm. yet they still remain overweight. Yeah. And that is where you cannot actually exclude physical activities mm. from actually healthy yeah. eating. It's mm -hmm. a combination of the mm -hmm. mind. Mm -hmm. That is basically psychologically. Yeah. You have to think right. Mm -hmm. You have to eat right. Mm -hmm. And you have to do your physical activities. activities. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The other thing is basically diversity mm -hmm. in basically the fundamentals. Mm -hmm. You cannot eat ugali, skuma every, every single, single day. day. You'll get yeah. Board. But there's some people who say them they're okay with taking that every single day. Actually, we had this discussion <laughs> with some of my, of my co-workers just the other day. And they're like, me, I cannot take rice or pasta mm -hmm. at night. Because mm -hmm. I'll wake up in the middle of the night, I am hungry. Yes. So I'll have to take ugali every single night. Mm -hmm. And there are others who are saying, me, I can take ugali in the morning, at lunchtime, and in the evening, every single day, and I'll be good. What happens is that we usually yeah. say yes, in as much as you can take your ugali. Yeah. But remember also you can you can change mm -hmm. whatever stew you are eating you, you're with, eating whatever with. vegetables okay. you're okay. eating it. Right. Because different types of foods have different different amounts of, of nutrients, nutrients and yeah. different types of nutrients, All which right. by the end of the day, mm -hmm. you actually have to meet them, mm -hmm. okay? So All that's right. why we usually advocate for diversity, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. In as much as portion size is coming, but yeah. also diversity. diversity but remember, yeah. we are living in a, in a state of time whereby the economical, mm -hmm. uh, it's not that yeah. good Crunch. in times yeah. of money. Mm -hmm. So what we usually say is that you don't have to go and do meat all the time, yeah. okay? Mm. There are also cereals. You can actually you can do actually your cereals. Do, yeah. You can actually do the beans. Mm. You can actually do the dengue. You can mm. actually do the lentils, which mm. are actually easily affordable. Yeah. Because even a cup of it, you can eat a f whole family whole of even yeah. five. That's true. But also there is also high biological value protein, like mm. an egg. 
Okay, it's mm. 10 bob. Yeah. You only have to eat three eggs in a week if right. you're an adult. Okay. For children, it's different per age. Yeah. Okay. okay. There are also people who actually like omena, but mm. also you remember actually culture mm. plays a very important, important role. role. Yes. If you didn't grow up eating omena, mm. then you will never eat it. Yep. You always stay away from mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. But that is why, even in healthy eating, you have to start introducing them, different yeah. types of meals mm. slowly, slowly, mm. slowly. Okay. okay. And that right. was some of the few things in, uh, about mm -hmm. the fundamentals okay. of. A healthy, of a healthy eating, but All also right. some. Mm -hmm. Also, when you're considering healthy eating, mm. you also have to consider health. Do yes. you have other conditions, conditions with you, yeah. like mm -hmm. diabetes, mm -hmm. hypertension? Mm -hmm. Also, it has to be incorporated mm -hmm. in the diet that in the I diet. Actually yeah. yeah, yeah. Actually, answered my next question because I was like, yeah. So, what if you have like a pre-existing condition? But yeah, okay. So then, in terms of Introduce it. So when do you start introducing that aspect of healthy eating, and especially in children? Um, because children are very interesting. <laughs> you know, some of these healthy foods that they're supposed, they don't like it. Yes. All right? Uh -huh. And they prefer other ones that are very unhealthy. And you give them that and they will eat very, very well. You give them the healthy foods, they'll be like, uh, it's not tasty, <laughs> it doesn't look good, I do not like it, I will not take it. And it's a struggle for most yes. clients. So when yes. then do you do you introduce um, healthy, healthy eating, eating. Yeah, in children? Yeah. I'll just say right from birth. All right. You see children are born knowing only two things, mm -hmm. crying mm -hmm. and breastfeeding. Sure. Every other thing mm -hmm. is the they guardian lie. that yes. introduces. Yeah. So what happens is that you have to introduce a healthy diet mm -hmm. early enough. All right. If you say there's no sugar, it's mm -hmm. no sugar mm -hmm. throughout. Mm -hmm. But remember, parents tend to be permissive. Yeah. Okay? Mm. Ah, we took sugar, even mm. the kid needs to take sugar. sugar yes. But remember again, when this child mm. knows the difference between tasty, mm -hmm. sugary things and yeah. non-sugary things. They never eat the, the non-sugary yes. things. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that's why we usually say it right, It starts right, right from that, complementary yeah. feeding. Mm -hmm. Whatever you give your child mm -hmm. is what they will reflect in mm -hmm. adulthood. Mm -hmm. And that's why you find that there are people actually, mm -hmm. and especially the elder generation, yeah. they don't take sugar. It's yep. not because they were told not to take sugar, mm -hmm. but actually they grew up mm -hmm. without these niceties of yes. life, without actually oily foods, mm -hmm. sugary things. Mm -hmm. And that is why they body is able to actually yep. adjust mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. your body only needs protein mm -hmm. uh, carbohydrates and, uh, and the vegetables yeah. the fats the type of oil, actually even oils and fats mm -hmm. actually matters mm -hmm. and that's all anything else the niceties it yeah. is you as a parent you as a teacher True. because yeah. there are also schools that actually allow mm -hmm. and actually give mm -hmm. kids mm -hmm. juice mm -hmm. instead of mm -hmm. actually uh, milk and yeah. tea instead of actually milk mm -hmm. so it depends it depends it yeah. starts right from there from, from from okay. Age, yeah. All right.